Good morning YouTube. I can't remember when I was more excited about a video series. Welcome to part three of my six part video series about my bin pack four post lift experience. This whole trip has been a blast. So in this episode I'm going to be sharing with you my attempt at mounting the post to the floor. Okay so the lift comes with studs like this okay it comes with this these are great this is a great uh, mounting uh, method but I have chosen to use a different technique because I don't want the studs sticking up in my floor so this is the stud okay that comes with the, the, the lift I'm using something called a drop-in link okay and the drop-in link is a female anchoring um, technique Whereas the stud is a male anchoring link. So the male part goes in the ground and then it sticks up as a stud. I don't want studs sticking up out of my floor. That's the biggest problem. I don't want them sticking up on my floor while I'm using the lift. And I don't want them sticking up out of the floor if I decide to move and take the lift with me. I have to cut these off with a new one. So no studs. It's a good mounting system, but I don't want it. So I'll be using these drop-in links. Because of that, and because of their female configuration, they require a larger hole in the floor than the male version. And it is larger than the flange will allow for. Here's an example. This is the one inch bit required to drill for the drop-in wings. And here is the bin packs male. Did you see how much wider that is? than the stud. So because of that, I have to move the list out of the way, drill my holes for my drop-in links, drop them in, pound them into place, move the lift back, and then mount it. So I have already drilled the pilot holes in place. They're smaller holes just to make sure it's exact. No marking and, and have anything walk off. I've already drilled. All the holes are precise. What I will be doing is I will be lifting the lift under each column. I'll be putting these little dollies, tiny little dollies. And you look at these one like, what the heck? That isn't going to hold that lift. That lift's 1,700 pounds. And you're right. It is 1,700 pounds. But these little dollies are rated for 882 pounds each. The set comes with four of these things. And when something's rated for 800 pounds, it probably can do more. And when you divide 1,700 by four, that's like less than 450 pounds a piece. So less than half of the rated capacity. So we'll see. We'll clean the floor so nothing gets stuck in the wheels. We'll lift the lift, put these little dollies under each uh, post, and move it out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and drill, mount, um, install those drop-in links, and mount that lift. So let's go down to the garage, and I'll let you watch me do it. Here's my setup, and here's one of the posts with its pre-drilled holes. I highlighted them in red sharpie so you could see them. Pre-drilled in place so that I'd be sure to be in the right location when I drill the big holes. The way I established where I was going to make the holes is I got one of the washers that I'm going to use with the three-quarter inch uh, bolts, and I just placed it. Where I wanted it to be and then drilled accordingly. Now we're going to go ahead and move this machine out of the way so that we can raise the lift up and get this cross member out of the way so our three quarter inch rod here that we're going to use to lift this puppy can go through the hole. This is the bin packed uh, hole that goes with their system uh, dollies for people that want to move their cart around the sh move their lift around the shop more frequently you can purchase that from bin pack and I'll put information in at the end of the video for contacting them for that item um, I got this wonderful piece of stainless steel strong 303 stainless steel three-quarter inch rod from my good friend Tanya at Big R Metals in Sacramento so without further ado 
Let's go ahead, move the car out of the way, get this lift up, brought through, lifted, moved, drilled. Well, you know the drill. Let's get right into it. Got the car out of the way, got the lift raised. Um, now we can uh, lift each of the four columns and put our little dollies under them to move the lift away from the hole locations so we can drill them. My little Proline low profile jack, 2,000 pounds, I got that guy from American Car Cover. It's expensive, but I keep it in my portion. We've already used it on a, one of my buddy's R8s when we had a flat on the road. Let's get the rest of these posts lifted. All right, we got all four posts up on the little dollies, as you can see here. So, now that we have all of the posts on dollies, we're gonna get some air, clean the floor around the wheel so they don't get stuck on any gravel or anything, and see if we can't push this lift. Disconnected my airline so I don't snap that off. Um, I don't know whether I should try and pull it or push it, so we'll see what happens. Here we go. slipped off. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. Try again. Alright guys, I found some neoprene in the shop and I am going to glue the rubber to these little dollies. Probably don't really need to glue them but I'm going to glue them for good measure so they don't slip off on me again. Give a little bit more track. Okay, let's try it again, this time with rubber on top of the dollies. All right, take two. Got her back up on the dollies with the neoprene rubber on the top this time. Let's try and push it out of the way so we can drill these holes for the mounting.
My minimum hole depth is three and a quarter, so I'm going to be setting my tape at three and a half, and I'll be drilling my hole depth to three and a half inches. I got my little SDS plus uh, hammering drill, so I'll bring you guys in close so you can see it at work. All right, so that is about 20 minutes. Five minutes per hole of drilling, and the first four are done. So now all we have to do is three more. All right, guys, all 16 holes have been drilled. And I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but this little drill has speeds up to six and I started out on three and it took me 20 minutes to do the first four holes after that I turned it up to five and it took me 18 minutes to do all the rest of the holes so speed matters so now what we're going to do is put these drop links in these little inserts that we drill the holes for I'm going to pound them down until they're flush move the lift back over them and bolt them down with 90 foot pounds so let's get started all right before i drop any of the anchors into the holes i'm going to check to make sure the holes are deep enough and that way i don't get stuck now once i drop these in there's a special tool here that you put in here and it smashes some of this red stuff. I don't know if you can see it. Some red stuff in there. It smashes it down and expands these fins into the hole so that it won't come back out. So let's see if we can get this down flush. Uh, that won't be hard. And once it's just below the surface, I'm good. And I'll hammer it in with this tool. And that will expand it and make it permanent. down a little bit too far, but oh well. That one's not coming out. Okay, let's do the rest. All right, we're all done installing the inserts, uh, the drop links. So now it is time to move the lift back over the locations and torque it down to 90 foot pounds into, and this is what they look like. I'll give you a close up over here. So this is what the inserts look like up close. Get a little bit closer. And I'll thread one in for you so you can see what they look like installed. And of course we'll look at them uh, once they are holding down the lift as well. So let's move this lift over location and bolt it down. Alright, I'm going to see if I can move it back into location without it slipping off of the little uh, dollies again. We have that rubber in place, so let's see what happens. Here goes. Okay, so we rocked her back into location. She's pretty close, as you can see here. Here's that one. And this one 
You see they're pretty close in terms of being lined up. We'll fine tune it once we get them down. I'll show you a different way to lower it than we raised it. There's always more than one way of doing things. Watch this. All we need is our magnet and our friendly neighborhood pry bar. Okay, the holes are lining up very nicely, and I've put the bolts in loose, as you can see. And the reason for that is, the next phase of this process will be, well, I'm going to call it leveling, but it's not really leveling. It is uh, making the post straight up and down. So to do that, uh, Bitpack has included these sheaves. Uh, not sheaves, what am I saying? Bin pack has included these shims, okay? And you can put those underneath the little high spots and like for example, right here, there's a little space underneath uh, the, the lift column. So you don't want to tighten that bolt down and then tilt your post. So we'll be using this level and this is a really cool level. This little guy here is, that's right, magnetic. So I'll be putting it on the post and seeing uh, how it's level and then we'll tighten it down once we've leveled it with the ships. So once it's all done, I'll let you guys see. Nobody wants to watch anybody level. That's boring and everybody knows how to do it. So once it's done, this uh, lift will be officially in service. It's been unofficially in service for a couple of weeks. I've run the car up and down and running it up and down without anything just to get all the kinks out and get everything loosened up and all the cable stretched. So I'll go ahead and get these columns straight up and down, torque everything to 90 foot-pounds, and let you see the final product. If anyone's wondering what happened to the little dollies, well, here you go. They did the job they were purchased to do, and I promise you they will not be doing any more jobs. Do I recommend them? Nope. Alright guys, we're all done. Here are the rear two. One on the right. The one on the left. And here are the front two. The one on the left and the one under the power unit on the right. Make sure you watch our next uh, video in this series where I do a complete review of this lift and tell you the 10 things I love about it and the two things that I don't like about it. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Yes, we leveled them. Here's the left. And here's the right. Perfectly level. All four.